Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero and welcome to Little Red Lie, an indie horror game where Little Red Riding Hood returns back to her grandmother's home to find out the truth of her grandmother's death all those years ago. Press E to interact, space to jump, and Q for inventory. You got a good jump there, Red. Inventory is empty, E needs to interact, well we got enough to interact with. What a strange looking cat. It looks hungry. I should find it something to eat. I like the contrast. It's, it's got a nice aesthetic. And then look at that proud run. We are a confident red. We are ready to take on the world. You pick up the bird. Dead bird. You give the bird to the cat. Uh, what? I wouldn't go in the valley. You. You can talk. Are you not concerned with the portal? All cats can talk. We just don't find most humans worth talking to. But you fed me a bird, so I will give you some advice. Do not enter that forest. A wolf lives in there, and devours anything it finds. Especially pretty young ladies in bright red dresses. The wolf is dead. I watched a hunter kill it ten years ago. But not before it ate my grandmother. I came here to honor her memory. Oh, but she's very much alive. I saw her last in the swamp. What? How can that be? You don't even know what my grandma looks like. Stop lying to me. A cat can be many things. A sloth, a glutton, and a tease. But one thing we are not is a liar. We have no need for such things. I... I still don't believe you. But if there's a chance, my grandmother's still alive. I must try and find her. But what of the wolf? I will find a way to defeat it and save my grandmother. Very well. But be warned. She may be the last thing that you see. Can we just leave at that day? No. So yeah, why is there a portal? Cat, how'd you get here? I am everywhere, yet nowhere at the same time. I see you like to speak in riddles. Can you at least tell me where my grandmother is? With a straight answer? I do not know at the moment, but I will tell you this. The wolf that roams this forest is not of this world. It can appear anywhere and vanish just the same. Teeth like daggers, a mouth that can swallow an ox whole. It is covered with eyes yet can barely see. If you hear it coming, the shadows will be your friend. Good luck to you now. You will surely need it. But while we cats have nine lives, you have only one. Scissors? This music's pretty intense, actually. Oh god, there's a wolf! Let's go the other way. Well, we only have one life, but I see three hearts up there, so I would take that as three lives. Does this dead end, or is this like a completely alternate route? No. No, this doesn't dead end. I'm not sure if it loops in, or if there's options. Everything looks the same. I'm not sure where I am. That doesn't look the same, though. It's Grandma's house. Huh. If I got the right tools, I might be able to pick this lock. You open the oven. What are these? They look like tiny bones. 
Something's wrong here. Something's very wrong. I could use this to grind up meat. Pick up the lantern. What was that? Do you need ingredients? Rice, wine, saffron, minced meat. Yeah, something weird is going on. There's more tools right here. Set lock picking tools. Lock stage one. Repeat the sequence to unlock each stage. Okay. Left, right, bottom. So it's just like a simple uh, memory puzzle. Success. Lock stage three. Top left, top right. Okay. Success. Oh, we're going up to four now, I see. There you go. Any more? Okay, we're over. Pick up an empty wine bottle. Well, that will be used for something. I wonder where the bucket went. I think I could fix it if I found one and some rope. I'm just gonna run by. It's too late. The damage has already been done. Pick up saffron. Scary. Whoop! Bats. Truly in bat country now. Damn Castlevania up in here. What? Picked up a pig head. Uh, that's Grandma's outfit. Grandma, what big teeth you have? So is the twist going to be Grandma was the wolf all along? I mean, I don't mean like in the original tale, but like... Grandma's always been the wolf. Just faked her death. <gasps> nope, never mind. I got flattened right there. You are dead. 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 Red's, Red's not too good at the agility thing. Okay, so we need some more items, I believe. Well, the pig head is meat, saffron. We got an empty bottle. Oh, we need to fill that with stuff. We do need to find a bucket and some rope. So that's a thing. 
maybe in the other air side of the whole area. Okay, this is where the wolf was, though. We gotta be careful. I feel like I'm playing an 80s action game, like Hotline Miami. More so than, like, Red fighting the wolf, if you know what I mean. Oh, just... I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy commentating. It was a frog. Frogs are our deadliest thing in this world. <laughs> There's a lot of frogs. What the? You take the rope down from the tree. Pick up some rice. This is kind of a nice shot right here. Look at that. Kind of artsy, right? Picked up the bucket. Okay, we're good. We just need to get back to the house now. And not step on any frogs on the way back. I like the touch of how the dress... It's kind of like it's crayon or markered in. You notice how, like, the things even move with the, uh... The movement. So, like it's not fully filled in, you know, like it's kind of scribbled. I like that little detail. I haven't seen the wolf in a while. I think the wolf is coming. So there's the portal in. Wolf, wolf. Um, we need to find somewhere we can hide behind. Here. You have a stomach for a mouth. You're like the, the definition of gluttony. Essentially. I guess that, you know, it makes sense. I was about to arrive again. It's fine, we're about to go in here. As soon as we get some water. Yeah, the rope in the bucket. If you lower the bucket and it comes up full of wine, nah, that's not wine. For the bottle of wine. Grind up the meat. Minced meat. That was a very efficient grinder. Potion of confinement. The prison of being of this world or beyond. Follow the recipe. Then mix it with the blood, skin, or hair of the creature you wish locked away. Be warned. Performing the ritual of the incorrect potion will result in your death. You only get one chance. The saffron was measured, measured in tablespoons. The bucket has 10 more of its respectable items in its respectable unit than the cauldron, which has an item of quantity of 5. The item found in the oven has a smaller unit than that of the item found in the bucket. The meat uses a unit of cups. The rice requires a fewer quantity than the wine. Oh my god. Math. So, a cauldron has an item with a quantity of 5. We know that right from there. The bucket has 10 more of its item than that. So that'd be 15. So this one would be 20 then, by elimination. Saffron was measured in tablespoons. So we eliminate that. We've already got this over here. Meat uses cups. So, this is what I've come up with. This is what I think is technically correct. But, I want to see what happens when I mix it wrong. So... I sure hope I got this right. Probably didn't. Obviously, we took out an ingredient. It's not going to be right. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Big bad wolf. 
sådan det ikke værre nu. No, the wolf's over here. It's went in the cave. I guess we have to go get some uh, hair and stuff. <laughs> what the? I guess it's like a uh, a stealth meter or something. That wasn't a mechanic till now. That makes sense. It, it's sleeping or something. You just need to sneak over there. Hey, buddy. Use the scissors to cut off a lock of hair. Let me just get away from you. Also, I just kind of noticed there's a lot of shoes around there. I take it there's a lot of red riding hoods you've been eating. You've been eating good. We're good. We're good. We can run from here at this point on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That almost got me. Alright. Here goes nothing. Is it supposed to be bubbling like that? Did I get the recipe wrong? I don't think it's supposed to be boiling. Technically, <laughs> I predicted this, but still. Brah. Okay, let's do our correct one. I sure hope I got this right. When we're gonna redo everything again. Let's give Red credit. Look at that. Look at that stealthy shuffle with them heels on. This was a cut off a lock of hair. We are a shuffling machine. Nope, not far away enough. Okay. All right, here goes nothing. You did it? Red, honey? Is that you? G grandma Oh, Red. It's been so long since I've heard your voice. Grandma, what are you doing in there? I was eaten by the wolf. But your spell killed it and released me. After so many years, I can't believe that you're alive. Yes, for I was trapped in the wolf. I dreamed of a day I would see you again. I'm not sure we should trust Grandma when she has no facial silhouette. And that day has come. I just need you to let me out. Oh, of course. What should I do? Destroy the confinement seal you poured the potion in. That will remove the rock wand from the cave. I'll smash it to pieces. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What are you doing here? I came to stop you from making a grave mistake. The being behind that rock wall is the wolf. But I heard my grandma's voice coming from the other side. It is true, for your grandma and the wolf are one and the same. That can't be. She was eaten by the wolf. Yes, it was then we're born to roam these forests as her killer. A curse for a lifetime of sins. Sins? But my grandma never did anything wrong. Is that so? What of all the tiny bones in her oven? Those are not chicken bones, I'm afraid. Red. Who are you talking to? 
Why haven't you let me out? I'm talking to a cat. He says you're the wolf roaming this, these forests. A cat says I'm a wolf. Are you feeling all right, my dear? Stop this silliness and let me out. It's scary in here. Plus, I need to sharpen my teeth. They haven't had a chance to sink themselves in anything in a long time. If you break that spell, she will hunt you down and kill you. For years, I watched as she feasted on children to satiate her appetite. I asked the wolf to help stop her, but her cursed spirit lives on. When I managed to lock her in her house, she managed to break free. Do not listen to him. He is lying. The wolf attacked my house. Oh? Then why are the signs of damage only from within? I... I'm not sure what to do. Come with me now. The portal will close soon. If it does, you will be trapped here forever. Do not listen to him. Please let me out. I'm your grandmother, not a wolf. Don't leave me to die in this cold, dark cave. You can trust me, right? I'm not talking like all spooky or anything. Are you sure you want to break the spell? Of course, Grandma. Thank you, dear. Having broken the spell, the rocks blocking the cave entrance fell away, and a tiny, frail, but familiar figure stepped out from the darkness. Red was overjoyed to see her grandma again. Her grandmother was happy as well, a wide smile on her face. Red knows a smile. It was bright, large, with gleaming white teeth. She recalled seeing the same grin before, but could not remember where. My, what big teeth you have, Red remarked. The better to... Well, I'll tell you later. You'd think one of the most traumatic moments of her life would be something she would specifically remember. Like, I, I think I, I remember those teeth. Alright, let's go for the other good ending. It does, you'll be trapped here forever. Goodbye, Grandma! Red, where are you going? Don't listen to her. Please, Red, don't leave me. Grandma. Red, she's trying to trick you. She's a giant mouth full of teeth. You know how the story goes. Red, come back here this instant. Ah, finally letting your true colors show. Does family mean nothing to you? What would your mother think? I would think you have a lot of eyeballs, Grandma. No, Red, stop! Grandma, why did you let this happen? Come, Red. Don't turn back. You must leave this place now. Before I go any further, tell me your name. Why would you want to know that at a time like this? My mother told me never to talk to strangers. If I know your name, we won't be strangers anymore. Name's Cat. Very well. My name is Ascat. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Follow me. Leaving the wolf trapped in the cave, Red made her way out of the forest. She felt immense grief thinking about her grandma. But with each step, the sorrow lifted as the sun rose over the horizon. Soon, Red found herself lying on a grassy field staring at the sky. Remembering the terror from the night before, Red realized the world was now a safer place. She then thought of Ascat playing with a dead bird, and a slight smile came to her face. So it looks like that's it for Little Red Lie. So the lie is essentially that in this version of Red Riding Hood, the grandma is the bad person, and the wolf was used to help the children to put the grandma out of her misery and stop uh, a bit of her Hansel and Gretel kind of like wicked witch ways. And 
then for whatever reason she became one of the wolf and became some kind of weird evil eldritch being so that was that was an upgrade for grandma i guess it's a little interesting when you think about how little red riding hood is always one of the tales that gets twisted the most it's already somewhat i mean as far as fairy tales go it's already kind of a little bit grim right but that's the like the the basic if you twist any fairy tale to like a horror premise, it's always Little Red Riding Hood. It's amazing how like how consistent that is. Anyway, not a bad, uh, not a bad little side-scrolling adventure game. I like the color contrast. The gameplay is nothing special, but I like the like I said, the animation, the attitude, and the color contrast, and the art, and everything like that. And its premise was you know a little interesting enough. It's a you know a fun little quirky Little Red Riding Hood horror game. It's about sums it up. Anyway, so if you go for watching play Little Red Lie. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.